and posers, welcome to this week's ECW review. First off, I'd like to say everybody who is watching this video, go to the to the link in the description box and check out the Wrestling Revolution website. This is a collaboration between myself, the Unsquared Circle, ADTV, Classic 1333, and the host and creator, the block of the wrestling show himself. So you guys need to go to that link, go to that site, register. We've already got some people registering there, but big things popping, little things stopping. Thank you, MVP. Anyway, let's jump right into the ECW this week. This week's ECW is in my backyard of Cincinnati, Ohio. OH! We start off the program with William Regal and Big Zeke. Well, actually, we start off with William Regal, and then William Regal talks, blah, 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 blah. Here's your next ECW champion, blah, 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 blah. Big Zeke comes out. Woo wee! Because I think that Zeke is going to be the new ECW champion come Sunday. So, this segs, this goes you know, on for a little bit, and Big Z cuts a great promo here. And then Captain Charisma himself comes out and cuts off the promo, says, I got this, I got that, I'm this, I'm that, whatever. And then he says, but I've got a surprise for you guys, uh, unless you guys went on WWE.com earlier today. And then Kane comes out. The surprise was Kane, but then they announced it earlier. I don't know. So this match kicks off ECW with a great, like, 20-minute tag team match. I was actually impressed. This was great work by all four competitors. You know, Kane did some great work. Zeke was awesome. Zeke was dominant. Zeke and Kane went at it. And, I mean, you know, Zeke kind of took a little fall, took some falls to Kane. But Zeke was looking powerful. They are pushing this guy the right way. And I am very impressed with this. So... You know, as I said, it was a great match, and Zeke and Regal get the clean win. Incredible. Over Kane and Captain Charisma Christian. Zeke and, they get the clean win. They are definitely pushing Zeke. However, this kind of makes me wary on Zeke winning at the Rumble. If Zeke won here tonight, he may not win at the Rumble, which is very possible. But uh, what happened was, is while Regal was getting put in the Unprettier, uh, while his arms were out, Zeke tagged himself in. And then he went in, and then Christian, unprettier and Regal, turns around, Zeke Yuranagi's him, and gets the one, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Zeke and Regal get the clean win. It's an awesome match to kick off ECW. Um, then we come back from a commercial break with a backstage promo with Shelton Benjamin, basically cutting the same promo that the guy on the commercials has been cutting about winning the Rumble and moving on to WrestleMania, and then out of nowhere, Vance Archer hits him from behind. You know, I knew that was coming from, like, a mile away. They don't let Shelton on camera and talk about stupid stuff that's already been talked about unless someone's going to jump him. So, yeah, Vance Archer came in. He said something. I don't even remember what he said, but, you know, and then he gave his look. And then that was it. So then, we move on to the main event. Um, which was a six-man tag match. Zack Ryder, woo, 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 you know it. Kalen Croft and Trent Beretta versus the Hurry Helms, Goldust, and Yoshitatsu. This was actually a really good match. They gave it a lot of time. I, I swear, I think they gave this match like 20 minutes as well. Um, you know, Goldust started off the match with just some great work in the ring and all that. Midway through the match, uh, Hurry Helms got in and, you know, Hurry Helms was cut off and all three guys were kind of keeping him on their side of the ring while uh, Hurry Helms was trying to make the tag. Eventually did make the tag to Yoshitatsu and uh, Yoshi came in, cleared house, you know, all six men were, you know, battling and it came down to uh, Kref Barada, Yoshi, and Goldust. Goldust came off the, the rope and did a double, like, you know, with the punch up or whatever when they were both, like, going for a double team backdrop. You know, Goldust dropped down, hit them both. And then Beretta, or I'm sorry, Croft fell out of the ring. And then Yoshi Tatsu hit the swinging super kick on Beretta and got the three. Um, I really wish Goldust and Zack Ryder would have got more time in this match just because they weren't really in it all that much. And I love them both. Goldust is just a veteran and he's so good at what he does. And then, of course, there's 
Zack Ryder, who's Mr. Woo Woo Woo, you know it. You need to put him in more promos. So anyway, that was a pretty good episode of ECW. I was not that disappointed. However, I always have my critically acclaimed fantasy ECW. Um, what I would have done is I would have done an in-ring promo in the beginning, just like they did. Zeke and Regal, just like they did. Christian comes out, just like they did. Except that Christian would make an announcement. He said, you know what, I've got an idea for tonight's main event. But I'm going to run it by Tiffany first. And he walks to the back, Regals and Zeke are just like, what? They're left in the ring all confused. So then we go to commercial, we come back. It'll be Ryder, Croft, and Beretta. And that's right, I put the six-man tag at the beginning of the program. But it'll be Ryder, Croft, and Beretta. Versus Hurry Helms, Yoshitatsu, and Kung Fu Naki. Just because Yoshi and Goldust aren't tag team in my fantasy CW. So, this match, I'd give it about 10-15 minutes. It'd be a decent match. I'd definitely give Ryder, and a, Ryder more time than, uh, than he did in the, in the real ECW. Um, good match. But Ryder, Croft, and Beretta pick up the win. Because Ryder, Croft, and Beretta are just awesome. Match number two, then, would be... Uh, Gold Dust versus Tyler Rex. You know, over this past weekend, I went to an ECW SmackDown house show, and I saw Tyler Rex versus Gold Dust. It was a great match, but Tyler Rex won. Why would you put over Tyler Rex when he's never on TV? So, I have decided here to do this as a singles match with Tyler Rex and Gold Dust on my eFantasy ECW, and have Gold Dust go over. Next, we have a backstage promo where Christian and Tiff are talking about the main event. Tiffany, my Tiffany. Likes the idea and approves it because the other thing I want to know is why it wasn't how why hasn't Tiffany been on TV in like two weeks? I I need my Tiffany. I know she's engaged to Drew McIntyre, but you know, put her on TV. I still got to see her. Anyway, so Tiffany and my fan CCW Tiffany approves of the main event. Christian says, but we still don't know what's gonna happen. So what happens is Zeke and Regal come out in a tag team at you know tag team format. They're in the ring like we want to know what's going on. We want to know what's going on now. So Christian comes out again. He says, all right, all right. Now that Tiffany's approved it, I've got us in a tag match right now in the main event. And here's my partner. And Ain't no stopping me, no! Sean Benjamin comes out as Christian and Sean Benjamin versus Big Zeke and William Regal. Only be, the only reason I didn't use Kane is because they've got great talent on ECW. They need to use it. And they've got so few talent on ECW. They just need to use it. So... This match is Zeke and Regal versus Shelton and Christian. Uh, in the end, I would end it though the exact same. I would have, you know, the whole blind tag with the Unprettier, have, and then Christian get Uranagi for the win. Same ending, just different tag partner for Christian. Anyway, that's this week's ECW review. Don't forget, check out the Wrestling Revolution webpage where we are taking over the internet. Check out ADTV's TNA Impact reviews on Thursday. Classic 1333 Raw review for Mondays. And the new, and of course my ECW reviews. And Anonymous Angels Smackdown in a Shot Glass. The new Smackdown review for the Revolution. You can catch all this on our site plus some bonus stuff. There's a forum, there's a guest book, there's, uh, there's pictures, there's everything. Go check it out. And if you aren't, then you ain't nothing. Poser. I'm Grumpachito and I am.